I want to show you how I got from this to this. Hi, I'm Jan Edmondson. I'm a nature-inspired artist working mostly with watercolor and cyanotype. You don't always get to see the process that an artist goes through when they're taking an idea from its inception to the final state that you see on Instagram or on their website on a final piece. So I wanted to take you through this and walk you through how I started with this idea and then actually ended up here with this final piece. Let's get started. My style tends to be super loose, more like this. I like to move quickly with watercolor. I like the colors to blend together. So I had done this piece and used cone flowers in it just really quickly. Wanted to see what could the cone flowers look like by themselves. Using an oval wash half inch brush, this one's by Princeton, I created this quick sketch of cone flowers. I mean, obviously I didn't like it right off the bat. Looked weird, colors were weird, but I could see that there was some potential here. I thought it needed to be with other flowers, so I did that, adding other flowers and other colors in, but that didn't quite hit the mark for me. So using a scrap piece of paper, I did the flowers again, adding in other flowers around them, and again, I was happy with some of the pieces. For example, I really like the spots and the pattern that's developing in here, but I thought it was just too much with all these other things around. So I just did them by themselves. And I really like the progression of this. I love the shape, pattern. Uh, the leaves just didn't look right to me. I looked online to actually look at what the leaves look like, I got that and decided at that point that I needed to switch brushes. So I moved to a long round, this is Princeton Aqua Elite Eat, so that I could create the leaves and the little, uh, I mean the flowers and the leaves with the same brush. And I love, I loved how this looked, but it needed to be a little bit more full. So I created this piece. And this is starting to get closer to what I have in my mind. So I'm maintaining the pattern, I have more, you know, a few more flowers to bring, make it a little bit of a fuller picture and the actual leaves. But again, in looking at the flowers, I didn't like the pointed edges. So I switched back to the oval for the petals and then to the round brush for the leaves. So the petals have that nice rounded shape. They still have the color, the same pattern. And then the stems and the leaves are using the round brush that have the pointy. And so this is the final uh, piece that I have here. I'll probably do this in a few different sizes and in a few different ways, but I think I really love the direction that it took. So, happy painting.